everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site again today. We had a little rain earlier this morning, so I was working inside doing pipe insulation, a little spray foam around uh, some of those areas. Just all the stuff that I was saving literally for a rainy day, I did this morning, but now it's dry. Uh, my dad is outside, and as you remember from yesterday, I was talking about the wires, how a lot of the electrical wiring travels on the outside of the house, and you can see that uh, he is taping some of it down. We're just The tape is just sort of needs to temporarily hold it in place until we get the wall boards up. Uh, but it just sort of travels on the outside and pokes in through holes over there. Uh, what I'm working on right now uh, is the the kitchen countertops. Uh, we we have some granite kitchen countertops that I'm inheriting from my parents. Uh, they are uh, changing over, but with COVID making everything really difficult and slowing everything down, they're not sure when they're going to be able to be done with the ones that they have and have the new ones go in. Uh, so I was asking my dad about when he thought the timeline for that would be, not to rush them, but just sort of in terms of inspections, like when they were going to be available. And uh, he told me essentially, you know, don't hold your breath. I, we have no idea when that's going to happen. So I wanted to come up with a temporary solution for some temporary countertops. Now, I mean, I, I could have done like plywood and linoleum or whatever, but I didn't want to have a, I'd be buying a bunch of stuff, which would be a lot of money, and then it just kind of goes in a landfill. Now, you know me, I'd probably find some use for it anyway, but I was hoping that I could kind of get like the cheapest, scrappiest way of finishing up the countertops. And what I came up with was OSB board. It's oriented strand board. It's made out of junk wood chips and things are all glued together and pressed together. It's really cheap, it's really flimsy, it's horribly um, inappropriate for a kitchen countertop because if it gets wet, it all is going to delaminate. What's up? It was free. And, but but that is the one, uh, that's the one um, highlight of it is that it, was, uh, it is a free material. So that's why I decided to go with it, but I wanted to check with the building inspector first to make sure that was okay. I didn't want to install a bunch of stuff and then have them show up and it's like, ooh, OSB countertop, that's really inappropriate for a kitchen countertop. And I couldn't disagree at all with that because it's totally true. But it's just a temporary thing. It's just going to last hopefully a couple months, maybe. Yeah. Uh, hopefully a couple months. Um, but uh, he told me that I couldn't use, I could not use OSB board because the uh, kitchen countertops have to be a, oh, you got a grasshopper. Um, kitchen countertops have to be a non-porous surface. This is totally porous. Water will totally go in. Like I said, it'll delaminate. Horrible. Really inappropriate. But... I, w I suggested, well, in order to make it non-porous, could I just urethane the heck out of it? Just put a lot of urethane seal on it, then it's watertight, and is that okay? And he said, technically, yes. And uh, I, I wrote back to him, I said, well, if technically is good enough for you, it's good enough for me, let's go with it. Uh, and and uh, I mentioned, I wrote back to him, I do all this stuff through writing, just in case the building inspector changes over, I have a paper trail on it, you know, and I have evidence that they approve this horribly inappropriate um, countertop. So I've got it all laid out in the back. I'm doing them two feet wide. Uh, normally if you did countertop, you want it uh, a little bit wider than that. Usually the cupboards underneath are two feet, plus you want like a little edge. But if I do it two feet plus an inch, I can only get uh, one piece out of each of these four foot wide pieces instead of two. So I'm going with uh, two out of one, which is a little bit on the shy side, but heck, it's just uh, temporary and I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, what I am really excited about is uh, I'm about to cut uh, wood on the back, what is this called, the tailgate? Yeah. The tailgate of a truck, which is really just, it's elevating my testosterone levels just even thinking about it. it, it, it do, I, do I seem more masculine already? Yeah, well, you'd like to think so. Yeah, like, this is what men do. We cut lumber on the back tailgates of, uh, of pickup trucks. Um, Make sure you don't cut my tailgate. No, well, I'm going to try to avoid the testicles you have hanging from your, your hitch. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.